And they got some alternatives oh, that God. they're up to. Yes. You don't know what they're doing, then pretty soon uh, hmm. the whole church knows it. Hmm. Come on, y'all. Man, amen. But the Bible says, be sure. Yes. Your sins will find you out. Yes. You mm. think you're here, but you keep on walking in, in, in the wrong ways. Yes. Right. Amen. Somebody gonna know it. Amen. Amen. So the Bible has warned us. Mm -hmm. Be sure. Amen. Sure. Amen. Your sins will find you out. Yes. You always talk about somebody else's sin. Amen. Right. Amen. But be sure your sins Amen. will find you out. Amen. Amen. God ain't somewhere asleep. Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. Amen. He don't require no sleep. Yeah. The Bible says he never sleeps or slumbers. You can't fence him off any designated place. Amen. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Yeah. Beholding the good and the evil. God sees it all. And that's why the word of God should do something to us. Amen. We should Come up with a reverential fear right. of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Not scared of God, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> right. he gives us a responsibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. 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 I think about the scripture that says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Yeah. And in due season, he will exalt oh. you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we've got to learn to humble ourselves. Now, God can humble us. Hello. Yeah. He's able to humble us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He can send just some rain and humble us. Yeah. He can send yeah. the snow and humble us. Yeah. Amen. He can send the wind yeah. and humble us. Really? And you got to realize yes. that every wind is not from God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Every storm is not from God. Mm. You got to know that. Hmm. But God can curve every wind that comes and not be. Mm. Right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Spirit are the same as the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. You ever you ever see the, the wind? I mean spirit and wind mm -hmm. are the same. You ever see the wind? No. But the one thing about it, you can see what it does. Amen. You can feel the current of it. Yeah. Amen. On the day of Pentecost Love. is when they felt spiritual wind. Yeah. Amen. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were one mind and one accord, one accord. in one place. That's right. Yeah. And that, that was a change of another dispensation. And they heard a mighty wind. Huh. And that wind came until it seemed like it was in the building. Mm -hmm. Yes. And fire set upon each one of their heads. Yes. Not on their hair, mm -hmm. but right above their heads. Mm -hmm. and, and we need to read that book of Acts and just see what happened when the dispensation of the Spirit came. Right. Amen. God was to the fore in the beginning. And there came the dispensation of Christ. And he was to the fore. And God and the Holy Spirit was not. Right. Amen. Amen. But right now we're living in the age of the Spirit. Amen. And he's here. Yep. And do you notice that you can blaspheme God and be forgiven. Right. You can blaspheme Christ and be forgiven. But bless your bones, you can't bless him the Holy Ghost. Hello. Amen. And he's here today. This is God's last effort. Whenever most ladies find out there's a sale, they're right there. Amen. He's going to pick up on it. And we've got to know, the church has got to know that this is God's last effort. Yeah. to close out this dispensation. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The next dispensation that comes will be the dispensation of the return of Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, it's right upon us. It could happen anytime. Yes. Yes. We yes. don't pay no attention to what goes on mm. every day. Yes. Amen. I will get at the uh, the uh, computer and I find out what's going on today, what went on today. Mm -hmm. And most of you don't even know. Mm. Amen. 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 But you could know. We just don't know the minute or the hour. But we know it's a season yeah. when Christ will return. Yeah. And it's going to be suddenly. Mm, yes. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And so you can't get ready. Hello. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So there, something should happen mm -hmm. to the New Testament church. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever anybody teaches it ought to be doing something to us. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Grounding us into the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth. Yes. And the truth shall make you free. free. Right. I'm preaching yes. about boundaries yes. here lately. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you got to know your bounds. You can't do anything. No. Anywhere. Right. Amen. Amen. Think it's slick and smooth. Come on. All right. Amen. But uh, Ephesians 4, uh, 14 to 16 is saying all of these things. Uh, God don't want us to say, uh, stay the same. Uh, now, let's look at verse 16. But uh, let, let's get 14 and read down to 16. Let's read it together. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fit and join together and compacted by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working and the measure of every part, making increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. What church is something? It has a purpose. Christ is coming back for the church without spot or wrinkle. Hello? So, the Bible is clear that we be no more children tossed to and fro by everything we hear. Come on. We hear this, we hear that, but it shouldn't bother us. Paul said, none of these things should move me. Amen. None of them. You can say what you want to. But Paul had found Christ. He says, I count everything done that I might win Christ. Now here's a man that was second to Christ beyond the twelve that followed Paul. Paul didn't follow Christ. Amen. He was born out of due time, due season. Christ had picked his twelve. But there came one greater than all the twelve. Amen. Amen. Yes. And Paul received what he uh, uh, wrote. Thirteen books in the New Testament. And he said, I received them by revelation. Hello, y'all. Amen. So, we should not be children tossed to and fro by doctrine, by slight of men, and by cunning craft whereby they lay it away to deceive. Yeah. You know, sometimes we think uh, some preachers are so cool uh -huh. and they're crafty. Uh -huh. But you got to know that. You can know that by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Come on. Amen. 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 But, uh, you know, we want, we want our prayers answered so we can he heap upon us our own lust. That's all. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah, sometimes we're not up to no good. <laughs> Come on. But you see, this isn't personal. 
This is something that we've got to know. Amen. Amen. When I'm going to Pittsburgh, I'm not going uh, to Washington. Amen. When I hit 79, I'm going to go south. If I'm going to Pittsburgh, I'm going to go north. Amen. But uh, the Bible said here in verse 16, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh the increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. The church can build its own self up. Come on. Amen. I mean, edify means to build up. And we, the body of Christ, we can build ourselves up. Right. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. But we've got to have one mind. We've got to be on <laughs> one accord. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. Amen. And things will happen. Amen. All we have to do, amen, is to just grow in this grace yes. that God has given us. But he does it because he wants the whole body to be fitly joined together. Amen. Deacon said his car had leaks in So everything wasn't Fitly joined together. Amen. It had Amen. been. But recently something happened. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. There came a leak at the joints. And he found it better to get rid of that car. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 So the church has got to be fitly joined together. together. Yeah. And not only that, every joint was supplied. Yes. Right Some people, when it comes time to do something, they back up. Amen. 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 When work comes this way, they go that way. Amen. Come on. Amen. We eat a good meal and enjoy it. And then when it's time to clean up, you can't find it. Amen. Come on, y'all. Isn't that sad? Very selfish. And the whole human family is just that way, in some kind of way. But that's why we have <coughs> grace. And in this generation, we're growing in that grace. Aren't you glad? Amen. Amen. Somebody ought to give God some praise. Somebody ought to thank you Hallelujah. for this generation we're living in right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the grace was extended to uh, every generation. Mm -hmm. But there was nobody that was full of it. Hmm. But when Jesus came, the Bible says he was full of grace Amen. and truth. Amen. Somebody ought to give God a praise for Jesus. God. Somebody ought to thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody ought to be grateful for Jesus. Amen. 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 He came for sin and he rejected sin in the flesh. There was no sin found in him. 